After just a little bit, you should see this. Just go ahead and swipe up. Then choose whatever language you would like. We're gonna go with the English in this case. Then go ahead and choose your region. It can be any one of these. So just scroll down and choose your region. By the way, I do wanna mention that anything that we set up right now, we can change later on in our settings if we change our minds. But anyways, we're just gonna choose Canada for now. This is if you had a phone before. However, if you don't, if you don't have an iPad, you can't transfer anything. Actually, when you're transferring stuff from your iPad, it transfers some stuff, but not everything. So it's not the best thing. But anyways, if you did have contacts and stuff like that, that will transfer even throughout iCloud. You don't really need to have your iPad beside you. Once you log into your iCloud, you're going to see that. Anyways, assuming you guys are brand new, we can go on to set up manually. So right here, we can just choose our network. So we're going to go on and choose this because that's mine. By the way, if you're doing the setup with hotspot, sometimes it just doesn't work. So I recommend actual Wi-Fi. Once you press on join, it should just connect up unless you have your password wrong. Everything should be working fine. And yes, you do need internet in order for this to work. So right now, it may take a few minutes to activate your phone. It's very important that you activate your phone with an iCloud ID. You don't technically need one. You can always skip that step, but I do have a separate video that shows you exactly how to fill out and how to get an iCloud ID because it's very important, especially if you lose your phone or anything like that. You can blacklist it, you can iCloud lock it, you can even track it down really, really easily to see where it is. Anyways, we're just gonna continue on. Face ID, you can set this up or you can set it up later. Assuming you guys are new, we're just gonna set it up and we'll teach you how to do this. So we're gonna go on and press on continue. And you just have to do what it tells you right here. Basically in a circular fashion, and then you're set up with the face ID. Again, you could have skipped this, but we're gonna go ahead and do it right now. But again, I do wanna mention that if you don't wanna import any personal information inside here, just press cancel right now and just going to set up later. You do not need Face ID, you do not need iCloud, you don't need anything to set up your phone, especially for people who are selling it, you just wanna have it activated so the person who's buying it from you can test it out really quick. Then go ahead and just skip everything basically and you're pretty much done. But again, I'm just gonna go into continues and get started just to show you how this works. So here I am, I'm just gonna look around. I'm gonna be surprised if this works because my tripod's in the way. All right, so this part is basically because of COVID. You can use face ID with a mask on or you have to take it off. So it's your choice. Most of you want to be able to use face ID to access your phone without taking off your mask if you have to wear one. So we're gonna go on and use face ID with a mask. And we're just gonna scan right, right again all the way around, Face ID is now set up. So we can go on and click on continue on. All right, so in this case, we do need to create a passcode and that's because we have Face ID. If we didn't have Face ID set up, then we don't need to do this. And usually if you go into passcode options, you do have something that tells you to set up later, skip, or just not use a passcode. For now, I'm just gonna cancel this and I'm just gonna put a passcode. Just make sure to remember your passcode because you do have to put in twice. So as long as they match, you should be okay. And right here is if you had any information, you had an iCloud, you would transfer stuff over. If you're brand new, you wouldn't. This is for new users. So we're going to go ahead and don't transfer apps. Now, this is the part where, again, you could skip this. All right. So you can go right into here, this down option, and you can just set up later in settings. Again, that's if you guys don't want to import any personal information, just set up later in settings and just proceed with the next stuff. Now, if you're brand new to this, you don't have an app ID, this is your chance to go on and create a free Apple ID. So we can always do that. Tap on there. It's just going to ask you some basic information. So right here, you're just going to continue. You put in your email and then you're pretty much done. But maybe you followed my other video about creating Apple ID before even doing the setup. Then just put in your Apple ID, which is your email, your password, and then just keep going. For now, we're just going to choose setup later in settings because we don't want to use our Apple ID at this point. But again, I highly suggest putting an Apple ID if you're brand new to iPhone and this will be yours. Keep your iPhone up to date. Yeah, we can change that up later on. By the way, we can just turn off. Actually, we can change any settings that you set up right now. We're going to go on to continue. Now, regardless if you're selling this or not, you should put enable location services just so the person who's testing this out can go ahead and take a look at it. And if you're a new person to this iPhone, it's really useful just for Google Maps and just maps in general. So we're going to go ahead and enable that. So right here, it tells us that we can transfer a phone number. Actually, we can just go on and put in our SIM card and that's it. We don't really have to transfer 
from a nearby phone or anything like that. However, at this point it does detect that we didn't put in a SIM card because I took it out. So we're just gonna set that up later in settings. And hey, a lot of you won't even have a eSIM. eSIM is basically because there's a SIM card already built into the phone. That's why you can have two numbers in your phone. You can have the phone number from your SIM card and then a eSIM, which is the SIM card that's pre-built into it. So that's what this means about transferring. But yeah, we're just gonna skip this. Now this is Siri, again, you would just select set up later in settings, but that's only if you don't want to import any information. Other than that, go ahead and press continue because this is your phone. You want Siri to work with you. You can select the voice of Siri. I'm just gonna go for Hi, one for it now. Siri. Choose the voice and going to next. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, send a message. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, play some music. So all I did was read exactly what he told me on the screen. Just do that and just hit on continue. So he recognizes your voice. So it tells you how to ask Siri. You don't really need to press anything. All it's telling you that you can press this button here, which you can. You just need to say, hey Siri, and then it's gonna go ahead and assist you. Go ahead and continue. This is up to you. You can share your audio recordings or not. I don't really care, so I'm gonna go on. Screen time. Screen time is mostly for parents. So if you're giving this to your child, set up screen time. You can set up restrictions and a bunch of stuff so your kids have limited time right here. However, if this is for you, you most likely just wanna skip this. And right here, I would suggest go on and share with Apple. You don't have to. This is just information about your cell phone, just so they can make updates according to whatever errors they see. So I'm gonna share with Apple. Same goes with this, share with developers. You don't have to, again, you can choose light mode or dark mode. Dark mode just makes it look like this, which is what I personally like. However, for this video, it's better for me to just leave it as light mode, go on, and zoom. Yeah, you can make everything a lot bigger in your phone by zoom or standard would look exactly how you see things. It gives you a quick sample of how it looks like. It just looks a little bit magnified. We're gonna go on, emergency OS, yeah, continue on. And we are officially done, welcome to iPhone. So once again, these are the apps. These are standard apps that you would get in your phone. You would get nothing else. And these are all the standard apps. Let me just open up this folder so you guys can see all the apps that you get in your phone. But that's it. Let me just show you this folder. And like I said, if you want to download social media, like I mentioned before, go on and check out the App Store and start downloading. Of course, you need an Apple ID for that. So just make sure you have that activated. But again, if you didn't want to import anything personal right now, it wouldn't have anything personal in it as long as you skipped everything. And yes, the first thing you want to do is go into your settings and just update your phone so just follow any updates that he needs and by the way just to close everything and set up everything so for example if i go to clock i can just swipe up and there you go that app is closed so just wanted to show you that because a lot of people forget to close their apps and then they're wondering why their phone is a little bit laggy but as long as you close some of them sometimes you should be okay. Anyways, as far as this setup video, we're all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.